Namaste, namaste, everyone. Familiar scene back at home <laughs> during the anchoring light. Well, at least we have flexibility now. It seems that this technology is just going to be the part of the way things are, which is a good thing. COVID did bring some blessings, moving us forward into our fifth dimension and all that uh, we are moving towards. So that's actually a good thing. Okay, so everybody's jumping on board. Awesome. <clears throat> and uh, I am not going to be doing the uh, the Facebook uh, probably for just a short time. I am working, as I mentioned <clears throat> the last time, uh, not from the center, but from my home. Uh, because I do do a, a project uh, this time of year. I work six weeks out of the year in the area of insurance. Uh, that's my J-O-B that I've done that I'm an expert on, Medicare and things of that nature. And so, you know, it requires us to be multidimensional, which means multitasking. So you have people that are do various things on, the, on their spiritual path, uh, never forgetting that we are in a physical world uh, we need to be grounded. We need to pay the bills. We need to have shelter. We have to, you know, do those things. So it requires us to move within this wide range of uh, uh, skills, you know, from your mundane, physical, earthly matters all the way to the higher spiritual, galactic, you know, multiverse, and all of that in between. So it's just interesting that. Um, it's that a small reflection of being on the path and doing multiple things as you move on your spiritual path on the earth, which I feel is sort of like a small replica of the, the, the completely amazing things that we really can do. See frontwards, see backwards. Okay, you know, so it's like, you know, being aware of what's behind you, as well as what's in front of you. There are people who've had that kind of experience where they could see like in all directions. Um, there's a lot of uh, abilities that we do have, you know, when we move into the higher parts of ourselves that we're capable of doing. So um, some of the things that we are doing here on the earth and you say, oh, there's so much to do. And you know, I have to do this, 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 and this. Well, you know, compared to what we really can do on higher levels of ourselves, that's like nothing. You know, so, so it's almost like a little reminder, you know, that we do multiple things and we're able to do multiple things at the same time. So how exciting is that? So I'm just going to open up the chat over here. I'm going to welcome everybody. There's always, no matter how <laughs> crazy life can get, I always look forward to the anchoring light, um, quite selfishly for myself, <laughs> that I usually feel better and more centered, no matter what my week or day was like, and also to share um, beautiful, you know, light energy with all of you. I mean, do you know what we look like, you know, from the perspective of higher cosmic space when we come together and combine our lights we're like stars Are you wear that we're like stars that's how bright it is when we come together and then we add you know who sees this light that's why the anchoring light you know the transmissions are so powerful because they know this body of souls that whole light are coming together on Monday evenings. And so that's why this stuff is so powerful. We're doing it for 14 years. You know, it was like the rising sun, like it's going to happen. And so there's this whole preparation and, you know, all this cosmic alignment to bring in whatever's going to come in, you know, because we hold light. We actually hold light and it can be visibly seen on many different dimensions. And as that light can be transferred into geometries, the most beautiful ge uh, geometrias, you know, and it's organic. I can only imagine what that looks like. When we come together, can you imagine the various, we hold our own geometries, we hold the, the um, you know, uh, the uh, collective geometries when we come together, 
you know, the colors, what that looks like. I understand it is just really phenomenal. We could see this from the higher perspective, like when we come together as the children of the earth, the family of life, and we combine our intentions, our love, our highest service, it is not just a, a, a visual experience, it's also tones, you know, and understand colors. You know, I, I have got little glimpses, but I can't even imagine how magnificent that might, that is. You know, this combination depends on which level you're on because there's many different levels and each level has different grades. I mean, it just kind of goes on and on and on. But the one thing I do, so just like how we would have with Dr. Emoto and he has spoken of like water and when you come with light and beauty and service, how beautiful those crystals are. Well, just imagine that you know, on higher dimensions, when we come together, first of all, our bodies are water, but even more so we are energetic beings. And so when we come together energetically, you know, it's even beyond what we can imagine in our earthly experience. So it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. And that's why, you know, one of the things that I here all the time. Hi, Kristen. Nice to see you. Okay, I'm seeing a couple. Everybody's getting on board. Yay. Hi, 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 everyone. Um, uh, what I was going to mention is that uh, when we may feel, and life can do that, you know, kind of down and depressed and you know, like self-esteem issues coming up and am I worthy enough? Am I smart enough? You know, is it too late for me? Oh my God, we have so many words we can say uh, in terms of like, you know, kind of beating ourselves up when we fall into that kind of funk. And I did have an experience once when I was feeling like that. And Victorian said, you know, remember your joys. Like I can't remember my joy. And then they went ahead and orchestrated where a group of people just started for no reason, say hi, and was joyful and happy. Well, in other levels, if that energy can be translated into crystals of water, can you imagine what the geometries are like when we come together as the family of light to serve? And the thing that I have so been impressed from the very beginning, besides you know, they say, thank you for showing up. They always say, thank you for showing up because it is a choice to do this we must choose to do it but also it's like no one should have a self-esteem issue ever because if you know when we come together and how we ripple throughout the cosmos okay our colors our high intentions our prayers our hearts dreaming is magnificent that's what to say they said no one should have ever a self-esteem issue if you knew who you truly are and what you're capable of doing and how you shine I'm like, wow. <laughs> so note to self, we all want to remember that. We all want to, when we get fall into the funk, let's just remember what the Ascended Realms just told us to say, you shine, you shine. And you come from the heart of compassion. And so deep is your heart of compassion that you chose, you chose, okay, to come into this physical uh, world uh, to assist in the ascension of this uh, planet and uh, and the life upon the planet. Uh, the reality is, the truth is, is that many of us, many, many, many of us, have already gone through an ascension process. You know, you know, done this. We've done this. You know, been that, done that. We we've, we've already done it. And so, actually, it has been a choice. Okay, because you know, coming in, there's a couple of things you could get stuck here. You know, uh, the veil of invisibility comes in, you, you, the uh, forgetfulness comes in, there's all these different things. And so um, there have been some souls that have come here, I know of a particular group, um, this was years ago, and they were hanging out for a particular soul, <clears throat> these were extraterrestrials, and it was a woman, it was an older woman. She wrote these lyrics that were just unbelievable. I mean, where did this come from? And they spoke of a particular group of entities. And they were like, well, we want to help the earth and help the earth. We actually sent one of our own. <laughs> and she stuck. She, 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 it's not like aligning to get back because that's how thick uh, the world of Maya is. You know, it's a great illusion 
It's a great, great illusion and delusion. And so we, it's like being in a video game. You think this is the whole reality, you know, and it's, it's way more than that. So one of the things that the ascended masters and our family of light have, have conveyed to us is that, you know what, we hold such great compassion and unconditional love and we've ascended, many of us have already gone through many ascension cycles, okay, and our masters in our own right, okay, have chosen, chosen to come here because our compassion is that great. Our compassion is that great. So um, I just want to remind everybody what shining stars you are, <clears throat> because that is absolutely conveyed by the Amishadai, our family of light 